right now you are listening to the songs of Chill Night. Mm. Villains Dubstep. Hey guys, it's Wills and Hillary Hypnon Chill with Villains Dubstep Crew. Shout out to Trill Night. All those other dudes keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate this interview. I had our Sea Party 15 was lit. We got some footage for y'all. <laughs> keep Austin weird. What's up? I'm Chill Nine. You're watching Hilary Hypnotic Trust. How old were you when you played your first set? Um, I was about, I think, 19 years old when I played my first set. It was at Numbers Nightclub for my boy Tosh. He threw, used to throw this weekly called Tosh World Wednesdays, and uh, that was my very first gig, I was 19. What's the story behind the Lisa show? Um, I met Fabian back in like I think 2013 and he was trying to introduce a new sound of dubstep to the Houston scene and what is now known uh, as, you know, the popularity of it now is it's uh, identified as rhythm and he basically like told me he's like I'm trying to bring this sound out and he taught me about it taught me about all the producers and we uh, I started playing that more and then he brought me on the villains and eventually I showed it to Dizzy and Dizzy started practicing it more and then he got on the villains and so Fabian is basically he is the reason why uh, Houston has a rhythm scene he built it like pretty much himself, you know, he introduced that sound to us. Where were you born? I was born, I was, uh, I was born, I don't even know the name of the hospital, I just know some kind of, somewhere downtown Houston, uh, but I live in, uh, Parallel, uh, towards, uh, Galveston about 30 minutes away from downtown. It's really nice there. Oh yeah, I, lo I love it there. I've been, I've lived in Paraline ever since I was born pretty much. I've lived in the same house and everything. What inspires your mixes? Um, when I first started, when I first got into the scene, was, I was 18, and I went to Kryptonite all the time, and uh, I saw Darth Vader spinning up there, and he was killing it. Everyone was going crazy, and I was like, "Wow, I really want to do that." So you know, I practiced. I, I got some uh, coaching uh, from my boy. His name is uh, DJ Blaze. Uh, he's the one who taught me how to DJ. Shout out DJ Blaze, I love you. He taught me how to DJ and he's uh, showed me a lot, you know, coming up in the scene. Like, cause like, and the thing about, you know, being the, the DJ scene in anywhere really is really cutthroat. And he taught me to just, uh, you know, not to get, to let ego get to my head and stuff like that. And to like, you know, try to stay as humble as I can. What's your spirit animal? Snorlax from Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something like that. Bro. <laughs> In and out or White Castle? I've never had White Castle, uh, but I will say Whataburger over everything. <laughs> I've had In and Out once, but I was—I I mean, I would give it a second chance. But I was very sick whenever I had. <laughs> Who are your favorite DJs? Locally, I like uh, at least in Texas in general. I love Kathy Russell, I love Dark Vader, I love Kinetic. Um, 
up, you know, obviously the great Houston legends like Upgrade, Rob Bass, Bad Boy BMC, Vandal Heart, you know, all my homies, all good homies. And uh, worldwide, uh, I really like Kroll, Blood Thinners, Infect, Excision, uh, and Fizo. Those are definitely some of my favorites. <laughs> What was your first set like? Um, it was, uh, everybody, I feel like everybody's first set is where all of their friends find out that they're DJing their first set, so they all come through, and that was pretty much it. I was playing in the upstairs area of numbers, uh, opening slide, you know, standard first set kind of thing, and, uh, all of my friends were there. <laughs> that you live by? Uh, if it's nice, we play it twice. <laughs> if you ever play a dirty tune, wheel it. Five, 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 five. <laughs> my favorite, uh, or quote that I like to live by is, my honor left a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Do you have any Working on it, you know, uh, little things here and there in Houston, but um, I believe Steven is probably going to have me out for uh, Happy Chronica, it's his annual 420 event in uh, Austin. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've, I've played at it for the past three years, so hopefully he's going to have me out at that one. It's not going to be till April, though. That's at least my next awesome show. Houston shows can like have, you know, one could pop up next week, one could pop up in like five minutes. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm nothing right now, but hopefully. <laughs> dope. That's all for now, guys. Don't forget to check out all of Trill Nye's dope mixes. I have a, a new promo mix, actually, I put up my SoundCloud last week. Uh, it's pretty, I've been getting pretty positive reviews on it, so definitely check that out. Click his face. Click his face. face. This face right here. <laughs> H-Town. <laughs> Hold it down. <laughs>